and I'ma do me. Uh -huh. I gotta be, I gotta be, I me. gotta be, I gotta be, I gotta be me. I gotta be, I gotta be me. I gotta be. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Smoking Jay's Kitchen. I am your host, Jordan Collins. First off, I would like to send my thoughts and prayers to everyone who's been affected by COVID-19. I understand it's a tough time that we're going through, but hey, we are some tough Americans. We're going to get through it. God bless America, and y'all are in my hearts. So today, we're going to be making some barbecue spaghetti inspired by my guy, Malcolm Reed, over at uh, Barbecue Done Right, Killer Hall's Barbecue. Check out his channel. So today we're gonna to do our take on barbecue spaghetti. So come along with me and let's get this done. All right, the ingredients you're gonna to need today, one whole onion, Worcestershire sauce, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, barbecue seasoning, red pepper flakes, butter, barbecue sauce. I have my own homemade barbecue sauce, but I would suggest you use a sweet honey-based barbecue sauce, spaghetti sauce, little tail sauce, and of course, some smoked brisket. All right, guys, so right now we're finna dice our whole onion. All right, now that we got the onion chopped, we're gonna go ahead and put it in the pot and get it softened up, and then we're gonna go from there. butter. Now the key to this is we're not going to saute the onions. We just want them to kind of sweat and just get soft. Just give them a little stir. Let that butter get all married together. And we're going to let these get soft for about seven minutes. Just gonna cover them up. All right guys, now that the onions have been getting soft for the last five minutes or so, we're gonna go ahead and add in our Rotel tomatoes. All right guys, we're gonna add in the Rotel tomatoes. Bring our heat up some. Get that stirred in. Now all we're doing right here guys is we're gonna build our sauce to go over the pasta. Okay? So to recap, we chopped the whole onion, we put it in with some butter to get it soft for five minutes, and now we turn stirring in our Rotel tomatoes. You just want to kind of bring that up to heat. And then once you get it up to heat, the next thing to do is to go ahead and pour in your spaghetti tomato sauce. A jar and a half of tomato sauce. You can use as much as you want and you can season it to your preference. From here, you wanna add in all of your seasonings, no particular order. Again, we have Worcestershire sauce, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, barbecue seasoning, and red pepper chili flakes. Now I know what you're thinking. Red pepper chili flakes, this is going to be spicy. It will have a little kick to it, but the sweetness from the barbecue sauce will counteract that heat to where it gives it a nice smooth balance. All right guys. Once your sauce looks like this, you're getting some bubbles popping up, that's when you want to add in your barbecue sauce. You just need one cup of your barbecue sauce of your choice. Now that we got the barbecue sauce poured in, we're going to go ahead and give it a stir. Once you get the barbecue sauce in and you get it mixed around, you want to let your sauce cook medium heat for like another eight minutes or so, just so those flavors can marry together. Just cover it up. And now that we 
got our sauce together, we're gonna go ahead and chop the brisket that's gonna go in to make our barbecue spaghetti. All right, guys, so now we're gonna get our brisket. Um, we previously cooked the brisket uh, prior to this. Um, I got a whole brisket, smoked it over some oak wood, at 225, my favorite number to smoke at. Don't know why, I just love 225 smoke. So we poured it off this morning, we smoked it for about 12 and a half hours. We got it sliced up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop it up to mix it in for our barbecue spaghetti. Just wanna get you some rough chops going. Don't want to chop it too fine. You kind of want to keep it a little chunky so that you can taste the brisket. That's about the consistency that you want of it. That's where you can see the brisket in there. All right guys, now that our sauce has been cooking for 10 minutes, it's now time to add the brisket. We're not gonna add all of the brisket, which are gonna add some. We're gonna leave some of the brisket to the side, so when we plate this up, we can take some of that extra brisket and sprinkle it on top. All right guys, now that we got the brisket in, we're gonna get it stirred around and mixed in with the sauce. Man, it smells so good. I wish I could smell this right now. I think the cameraman is in heaven. He don't know what to do. So once we get the brisket mixed in, guys, we're gonna let it cook for like another five minutes just so the sauce can get some of that brisket flavor in it to bring it all together and then we're gonna plate up. Now that our sauce is complete, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to plate this up. Get your nice, good serving of it. Put it right down top of the noodles. Look at all that brisket right now. I'm a big boy, so I need a lot. Get some of that, come back, add us a little bit more on top, right there in the center. Hit it with some Italian seasoning. And complement it with a nice barbecue. And there you have it guys. Barbecue spaghetti made with fresh smoked brisket by Smoking Jay's Kitchen. For this recipe, it will be down in below and be sure to subscribe to the Smoking Jay's Kitchen channel for more good episodes just like this one. We're about to go ahead and dig in. As you can see, we got some good flavor on that plate. So you know it's about to go down. See you guys on the next episode and I appreciate you guys for tuning in with Smoking Jay's Kitchen. I'm Jordan, see y'all next time.